Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and tonight we have something very important to discuss in the world of jailbreaking. See, this image was tweeted out by Luca Tedesco, who is a jailbreak developer that I've discussed in the past. Remember, he was the one that was going to release a jailbreak for iOS 8.4.1. Well, as indicated by this image, it appears as though he has jailbroken iOS 9.2.1. However, it might not be what it appears. So let me go ahead and explain. We're just going to tap the X on that image there to return to the original tweet that it's attached to. But first, let's kind of back up even even further. So who is Luca Tedesco? Now I've talked about him before again when discussing the possibility of a jailbreak for iOS 8.4.1 and I said he's most likely not going to release it. However, he has contributed to jailbreak development. In fact, this last Pangu jailbreak for iOS 9.0 through up to 9.0.2, the Pangu team did give him credit. So on their official Twitter account, they said thanks to Sorik, Luca, and I hate snow. However, in spite of his recent contribution, he's made two jailbreaks breaking, let's look at the tweet that he actually posted. So he said, I lied, all hail, and then this is Korean, no releases. So if we go to copy this quickly, we can actually define it just inside of Google Translate. So I'm going to copy it there and we're just going to bring it over notes so we can get the exact part. And once we have it selected, we're just going to return back to Safari after we copy it and we can go ahead and translate it inside of Google Translate. So let's go ahead and paste it here and it means great leader. Now he stated in a follow-up tweet that he's not familiar with Korean, he just used Google Translate to find out exactly how to say great leader in that specific way and apologized for anyone who's fluent in Korean that didn't understand it. So he said, I lied, all hail great leader, no releases. So what exactly does that mean? It's very cryptic. Well, if we go back to the image that is attached to his tweet, we'll notice that it is a screenshot of what appears to be Cydia. Just scroll down to the bottom and we have the identifying text down below there. Now, while that is something that's very easy to fake just inside of Photoshop, if you're even at least partially familiar with the program, I think this is legitimate. However, I will say this, there is one major caveat. It is not releasable to the public as stated in his tweet, most likely because it is a fail break. Now, for those of you who don't know what a fail break is, essentially it's a jailbreak that simply cannot be released because it requires the use of an Apple developer account. And in releasing a fail break, it would not only violate Apple's developer contract, but it would also be an infringement of their copyright of iOS. So as I've said a number of times throughout the years on my channel, a fail break is a jailbreak that essentially cannot be released due to legal complications. However, just because Luca was messing around in that specific tweet, I don't want you guys to be discouraged. He is not working with Taiji on developing the next untethered jailbreak. So if you guys want additional information on that, and where we stand on the official jailbreak status, then just be sure to check out my recent video where I discuss iOS 9.2.1, beta 2, and a couple of other things. I will have it linked for you guys on your screens now via card and annotation form, as well as down below in the more info. You can find it there. I definitely recommend navigating to that video and watching through it. There's some important information there. And if you guys wanna be updated more often, such as when I release new jailbreak updates like this one, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.